Hello everybody, this is Samuel Peralta with another uh, video for interview preparation and this time I have an interesting problem, a uh, threesome closest. It's, a, it's similar to the threesome problem. So given an array nums of n integers and an integer target, find three integers in nums such that the sum is closest to target. Return the sum of the three integers. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. So they give you an array nums and a target one, in this case, for example. So you want to find three numbers here that um, when you add them up, you get as close as possible uh, to the target, in this case, one. So the sum that is closest to the target is two because uh, in this array you can add negative 1 plus 2 plus 1 and that's going to give you 2. So we got to find the, the closest sum that we can get uh, by adding three numbers from here. And we don't have to worry about duplicates in this case because we can make an assumption. We can assume that each input will have exactly one solution so we only have to find one solution. So this problem is very similar to the threesome problem. Uh, we're going to sort the array and then we're going to uh, reduce it to two sum. We're going to use the same technique uh, of using the three pointers, I, left and right. Um, if, we f if we find out that the sum is equal to the target, we, we can return right away. If the sum is less than the target, we want to make it bigger, so we uh, increment the left pointer. If the sum is greater than the target, we, we want to make it smaller, so we decrement the right pointer. But every iteration, we also have to have a variable, the closest variable, and we have to update it. So if the closest minus the target is less, is less than the, the sum minus the target, I mean, if the sum minus the target is less than the closest minus the target, then we want to update the closest to be the sum. Uh, every iteration to keep track of the closest sum that I have found so far. So without further ado, I'm going to write the code uh, here. So as usual, we want to check the input. So if the reference is null or the array is empty, in this case, I'm going to throw an exception invalid input okay then I'm gonna sort the array now I need to have a variable which is the closest so integer closest Initially, it's going to have the value of the f of the sum of the first three elements in the array, num sub 0, plus num sub 1, plus num sub 2. So we're going to start by making the assumption that the sum of the first three elements is the is the closest. And every iteration of the of the loops, we're going to check if that's true. Uh, so we're going to change this if that's not the case. So for Integer i gets a value of zero. i is less than nums dot length. So we're gonna go from left to right. Um, then we're gonna have the left integer left is equal to i plus one, and the right pointer right gets a value of nums dot length minus one. So now we're gonna use the technique of two sum while left is less than the right so this this condition here says that while I have two two elements while I'm looking at two different elements in the array I'm gonna say integer sum gets the value of num sub i plus num sub left plus num sub right 
okay then each time I want to check if the sum if the sum that I find now this one is is smaller or is closer than the closest one so in order to do that I'm gonna say if the absolute value of this sum minus the target is less than the absolute value of the closest sum minus the target then the closest is the value of this sum that means that the sum that I find in this iteration is smaller than um, the difference is smaller than the closest minus the target I know that I found a new closest so I can update it and I have to use the absolute value here so if the sum equals equals the target then this is as close as I can get so I can return early else if the sum is less than the target in this case the array is sorted so I want to make the sum bigger of the three elements and I can do that by incrementing left else if the sum is greater than the target I want to make it smaller so I decrement right I, I don't have to handle duplicates in this case because we're making the assumption that each input would have exactly one solution so finally I can just return the closest closest yeah so as you can see I get the right the right output um, so there, uh, this solution takes um, big O n square time so this solution is faster than the brute force solution the brute force solution would would involve three four loops or three loops and that would take big O n cube big O n cube time but this is big O n square time so this is better this is much better um, because we first have to sort the array that's gonna take n log n time and then we have this for loop here and this while loop here nested so that's gonna be n square time so this is gonna dominate so the total time complexity is gonna be big O n square which is better than the brute force which is big O n cube the brute force solution would include three pointers as well but then it would be three nested for loops or three nested loops and that's not gonna be and that's gonna take uh, cubic time big O and cube so now I'm gonna submit my solution as you can see this is a fast solution 11 milliseconds faster than 1.83 percent of Java online submissions um, thank you for watching my tutorial I hope you enjoy this tutorial Good luck on your interview and please like the video if you want more videos like this one or and don't forget to subscribe. So thank you and happy coding.